helper. Be vigilant because your advisory, the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in faith. Knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. I want to read something real quick. Swiper is a sneaky fox in a blue mask and gloves that appears in every episode. Swiper steals or attempts to steal key items in Dora's life. And as clever, clever as he is, Swiper never manages to take Dora completely by surprise but when he does, you hear a whisking sound when he appears on the screen. And to prevent Swiper from success, Dora must repeat the phrase, Swiper, no, Swiper. Amen. And she doesn't just say it one time, she says it three times, because when she speaks, she wants to let him know that I'm speaking in authority, and just in case you didn't hear me the first time, you're going to hear me one of the next times. Stay with me. Right. Now, once she says Swiper no swiping three times, she usually prevails and Swiper goes away, snapping his finger and saying, <laughs> Sometimes, however, Swiper gets to the item. And before Dora has a chance to repeat the phrase, he gloats and says to her, you're too late, and he frequently states, you'll never find it now. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Some of you guys are walking down paths in your life, and when you begin to see things that are in your path to destroy and kill you, you don't understand what it is because the authority that's in you, we haven't fully quite grasped. So when it comes, it's stealing things with us and God is telling us that he's trying to implement a spiritual swiper, no swiping for the devil. All right. All right. Now, the word says, the devil walks about roaring like a lion. Now, how many of y'all ever watch When Animal Attacks? Most of the things that they show on When Animal Attacks is a lion because the lion oftentimes is one of the biggest and baddest animals. Young people, in your lives, everybody is not going to like you. Everybody is not going to want to be cool with you. Everybody is not going to want to see you prosper. Do some things because the reality is when they see that you're anointed and blessed in areas, they're going to want to come, put their blue mask and their gloves on and steal things in your path. And if you don't understand that God is the true swiper, no swiping of that wolf that's in your past, you will always get it stolen. You'll be walking away saying, oh man. Have <laughs> hey, your way, Lord. Right, the devil walks about like a roaring lion. Yes. Now, some of y'all grew up on The Wizard of Oz. Uh -huh. Some of y'all grew up on The Wiz. Right. Right. And in either one of these shows, the thing about it is there was a lion in both of them. Yes. Yes. And this lion, as Dorothy was walking down her path, the lion hopped out, <laughs> big and bad. But the moment she said something back to the lion, he turned into a coward and he began to flee. Now the word of God says, resist the devil and he will flee. So in other words, you are a spiritual door three. And when you're walking down your path and Satan begins to hop out on you unexpectedly, okay, 
The only thing you have to do is be resistant. And being resistant means before he goes to being resistant, he says, submit yourselves. See, a lot of people like quoting that scripture, resist the devil when he will flee. Resist the devil when he will flee. I tell you what, go out here today, not be prayed up, not love the Lord, and try to resist the devil and see if he flee from you. Some of y'all will be walking around with bite marks in y'all for the rest of y'all life. Now, children, in order to resist the devil, there are certain things that you have to do in your life. There are certain things that have to be stirred up in you to have a resistance in you. Now, understand this. How many of y'all like Kool-Aid? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And when you drink Kool-Aid, you go in your cabinet and you get your nice jug, and then you go in the cabinet on the bottom and you look for your favorite color, mine is blue, and I find my blue Kool-Aid, and I take my blue Kool-Aid, and how many of y'all have ever pulled the Kool-Aid in the jug, put the water in the jug, go to the cabinet for the sugar, and the sugar is all gone? Yes. So in essence, you have put the water in the jug, you put your Kool-Aid in the jug, but just because the Kool-Aid and the waters in the jug doesn't make it Kool-Aid until you get the sugar in there and it begins to get stirred up. So in a spiritual state, God can pour some things into you. There's some things that could be inside of you waiting to be released, but until the Holy Ghost stirs it up inside of you, it will not be spiritual Kool-Aid. Look at your name and say spiritual Kool-Aid. I love it. 